Elvis Presley was the king of rock and roll, but in 1972, he was also a broken man. He had just separated from his wife, Priscilla, after six years of marriage and was struggling with depression, drug abuse, and weight gain. He felt lonely, betrayed, and hopeless. He had lost his passion for music and his confidence as a performer. He was still touring and recording, but he was not happy with the songs he was given. He wanted to sing ballads that reflected his mood, not rock songs that demanded energy and enthusiasm. He felt like he had nothing left to give to his fans or to himself. One day, his producer, Felton Jarvis, brought him a song that he thought would be perfect for him. It was called Burning Love, and it was written by Dennis Lind, a young songwriter from Texas who had also played the guitar intro on the demo. The song had been originally recorded by Arthur Alexander, a country soul singer who had influenced the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and Bob Dylan. The song was about the breakdown of a relationship and the intense pain of unrequited love. Jarvis played the song for Elvis and urged him to record it. He told him that it was a hit waiting to happen, that it would revive his career and reconnect him with his audience. He told him that it was a modern rock song that suited his style and voice. He told him that it was what he needed to get out of his slump. But Elvis was not convinced. He listened to the song with indifference and said that he did not like it. He said that it was too fast, too loud, and too upbeat for him. He said that he did not feel like singing about love when he had none in his life. He said that he did not want to pretend that he was happy when he was not. Jarvis did not give up. He kept playing the song for Elvis and persuading him to give it a try. He told him that he owed it to himself and to his fans to record something new and fresh. He told him that he could make the song his own and express his emotions through it. He told him that he could turn his pain into art. Finally, Elvis agreed to record the song, but only as a favor to Jarvis. He did not expect much from it and did not put much effort into it. He went to RCA's Hollywood Studios on March 28, 1972, and sang the song six times, reading the lyrics from a sheet of paper. He did not rehearse or practice beforehand. He did not care about the arrangement or the production. He just wanted to get it over with. But something happened during those six takes. Something clicked inside Elvis. Something ignited his soul. As he sang the words, I'm just a hunk, a hunk of burning love, he felt a surge of emotion that he had not felt in a long time. He felt alive, powerful, and free. He felt like he was reclaiming his throne as the king of rock and roll. He sang with passion, intensity, and conviction. He sang with fire in his voice and in his heart. He sang like he meant every word. And he did. Burning Love was more than just a song for Elvis Presley. It was a symbol of his comeback, his resilience, and his legacy. It was a testament to his talent, his spirit, and his heart. It was his burning love for music.